So this right here is Jonathan's car that he's brought us to work on. Here's a bunch of stuff, including drive shaft shop axles, Motec, harnesses, pretty much everything we need to get this thing running. There's Donnie. Hi. It's an R33 GTR. The sun's probably going to be all funny. Uh, it's mostly assembled. Just have a few little things we need to button up. So we're going to get started on that. Look at the size of that puppy right now. Uh, all wheel drive. It's got tubular subframes. You probably can't see anything. It's got tubular subframes. Um, all tubular arms underneath. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, it's going to be a beast. So, um, got my computer out here. I've been making notes all morning. He's been going over stuff, what needs to be done. So, we're going to knock this thing out and it should be sweet. Right, Donnie? Oh, it's going to be sweet. It's going to be nasty. 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 I like it. Oh, yeah, all new racing suspension. Drag racing suspension. All those parts over here, too? Those are for Brad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're already doing it? I already, yes. I already did it. Yes, we are. You said, hey, grab the vlog camera, let's go do it. Yeah. I did it. We have Jonathan Elias's R33 here. This is basically a straight line car, a drag car. Street, drag car. Yeah, street. He, he says street. Call it street car. <laughs> um, basically, it's got a Rips 3.2 liter billet block. Um, it's got a Rips all wheel drive TH400. It's running a 8385 precision turbo with a towel housing. Um, we're running a dry sump on it. We are running for the time being a CPC intake manifold. It's set up for 12 injectors, but we're gonna see how much power we can make with six injectors. Um, they're Siemens Deco uh, 220 pound injectors. Um, What's so up with the radiator setup you got? Going radiator, on? Um, so the radiator, was purchased from Chase Bays um, probably a year and a half ago. And but I see that it fits under the yeah. So it, it core support right it, here. It required minor minor uh, trimming, mm -hmm. but um, my guy was able to make it fit. Intercooler rips intercooler. All the piping is done by Manny again. Okay, nice, um, nice. Okay, let's see here. You got what size turbo? So 8385 precision turbo with a. Uh, custom towel housing. So the housings are usually for the Garrett turbos, but we actually machine it to fit precision turbo Ooh, instead. that's nice. Where'd you get that done? Um, down in Florida, a uh, shop called, um, what's it called? Uh, is it IP? Um, man, they're gonna kill me, but it's, it's a shop in Florida. Well, you get it to us and okay. we'll make sure we put it on the screen cool. because that's cool. And I wanna do that for Brad's car as well. Cause that's really nice. It's a, it's a lot lighter than the OEM one. Uh, sorry, then yeah. it's a lot lighter than Garrett. I'm sorry, I think a lot lighter than the Precision. Uh, how yeah, and well. I see Garrett has it, but yep. Precision it doesn't. doesn't. Right. I've been waiting for them to they won't release one do this. Way. Here's the uh, mount for the Kinsler fuel pump. fuel pump, and then we have the cam sensor bracket, the double cast bracket. Yep, the double cast bracket. That's this all right here. Yep. We're running the uh, R35 coil bracket kit as well. Yep. It's not plugged in or anything. Yeah, yet. we got to get that set up. Um, and then yeah, these rip, are nice. The yeah, rips. Rips, chill it. Um, cam covers, rocker covers, depending on who you're talking to. Um, we're running a six boost Pro Mod turbo manifold. Yep, I see that. You can, you can kind of see it down in there. Okay. Um, and then I see, you know, you're running a dry sump. Correct. Dry sump. All the lines. So you can see how it's the reservoir for the dry sump is over here like two it's and a half, huge two and a half gallon two and a half gallons nice yeah. very cool very cool setup man everything you got the surge tank, surge tank or up. up here surge tank up here swirl pot swirl pot this is cool who makes this Stewart, Stewart? Uh, down in Texas that's really cool yep. we'll have to get one of those also See what else we got here. PRP, alternator bracket, CWC, um, conversion kit. For the alternator, the LS yep. alternator, that's what we were looking at earlier. Right there it is. 
And then I see down in here yeah, some so, suspension. So we're running race fab, front and rear subframes, race fab, J arms, race fab, lower and upper control arms. Um, basically, all the arms on this entire car is all done by race fab. Um, it looks like quality stuff, man. I stuff. mean, it looks awesome. Yep. Running custom brakes all around, running four pots, front and rears. I see the Willwood. Willwood's right here with some weld wheels, drag racing. Kirky seat. And then, so you said it's a TH400. TH400. Okay. And uh, you were talking about um, the paddle shifter correct like, yep. explain what is going on with that so there's a company out here in virginia that makes a, a shifter kit that you can use to shift the transmission with paddles instead of using the one that sits in the center console they can shift manually traditional, traditional drag correct, racing yep. kind of auto manual valve body trans shifter yep You've, you're reaching over here shifting and you're only got your right hand on the correct, wheel yep. basically so Better have both hands on the wheel mm -hmm. and have the paddles right there. Instead I mean, of that's going to be cool too. I mean, I think. I don't think anyone has it on the Skyline yet, so right. we'll see. Right. So we're going to hook that up for them and wire a bunch of stuff. It needs, uh, you know, a lot of wiring done. Still some plumbing to be done. Um, so we went over everything. Got a full list of everything he needs done. We're going to, you know, start working on this. I don't know what kind of timeline you got. I'm guessing yeah. you want it done as soon as possible. Whatever works. Right? <laughs> Here we got the Pro Trigger Kit. So this is for, if you want a little bit more fine tuning on a, on a trigger kit for mm -hmm. the crank side, um, you can't use the Platinum Pro with it. You need to use an Elite or okay. like a MoTeC to mm -hmm. use this type. And that's what you're going with Correct. is you have a MoTeC? Uh, I'm running MoTeC, yep. I'm running MoTeC M150, uh, C127 dash. Um, everything's plug and play from a... Um, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, drive shaft shop axles, stage five and pros. So how much do those run? Um, a little bit over three k. About three thousand yeah. bucks for all four. A little bit over, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, it's not cheap. You want to go fast? You 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 want to play? You got to pay. I mean, that's yep. just the nature of the game. So, um, here we have. Some of our Motec goodies. Oh yeah, here's the Motec. Look at that. Look at that, kids. That's awesome. Keypad for Motec. So we're gonna try to mount that in the in the cluster. In the cluster. Yeah. Okay. Um, in the back, I don't know if Ed showed you. We have the yeah, he to me CNC about it router. Yep. That's why we yep. bought it. Because you know, custom cluster develop yeah. per, yep. development. Yeah. They're, they're backed up and they're months. Yeah, dude. They're not even taking orders. Dude, I know, man. Here's a plug and play harness for the Motec. Nice. So, this is serious build. Yep. I mean, is there another car in the United States that. D Sport R33? A D Sport R33? Out okay. in California. Okay. Yep. So, that's pretty much one other car yeah. that you could say is going to be anywhere close to this correct he currently as far has, as skylines are correct. concerned he curr uh, currently has the uh north america uh record okay yeah are you going for that record is yeah, that the... so we're going for the record okay so all right this cool. car was actually built to go for that record um but uh yeah awesome awesome man r33 gtr in midnight purple We'll get this thing all cleaned up and looking awesome. And it's going to be running insane. What kind of horsepower level are you looking for? We're hoping to be in the 1400s. Hopefully more. If, but if the turbo allows it more. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome, man. Well, uh, we'll start working on it as soon cool. as we can. Me, for man. sure. And um, we'll be in touch and uh, we'll, we'll vlog the you know what we do to it and so jonathan can check out the vlogs and actually see his car getting worked on and you guys can follow along as well yep it's a new, unique project yeah so. it's gonna be insane really One so time. i mean like like i said josh is gonna like eat this up he would have been here he had to go 
visit family or something, but um, I'm sure he'll want to go to the track with you as well. And I mean, he can really, he can help you with like setup and everything. I mean, he knows his shit when it comes to that. So, all right, well, um, we'll just close it out right there and just stay tuned for more.